and welcome back. I've got a question to ask you. Do you protect your hair from the heat? I had lunch with some friends the other day who are two really high-flying beauty PRs and they were telling me that a really big UK hair company, who shall remain nameless because I'm sure they want to launch the whole research with huge fanfare, had done some research that said that, she said, telling you all first, uh, that only 7% of British women protect their hair with the product before they blow dry it, style it, straighten it, tong it, you name it, and I was gobsmacked. And it got me thinking, why? And I think it's because most people, most British women, is it true of everybody else in the world? I guess maybe less so if you've got thicker, gorgeous hair that can take the weight of it. Most British women with hair like mine, which is fine, but you know, a fair amount of it, they don't like the stickiness and the weightiness of styling products. So I kind of wanted to introduce you yet again to my hair styling products because so many of you have watched my five minute blow dry routine and I really do need to update it because I've completely changed my hair dryer, never my brush since then. Um, and, and I've kind of gone for a bit of a kind of softer look here now. I've gone a bit darker, what do you think? I quite like it. I was inspired by Elle McPherson. Lovely Tony at Salon Sloan. This is obviously a geo blow dry, but lovely Tony at Salon Sloan decided to take me a bit darker through the back and I prefer it. Uh, Boyfriend won't like it, he prefers me really blonde. Anyway, um, what do you use to protect your hair if you are not using a product? Because you know that GHD set all of their products to exactly the same temperature, and that is designed to protect you from ramping up all of your heated hair tongs to a degree that will burn and damage your hair. But I know that when I have a product that's got a dial on, I just kind of turn it up to full, surprise, surprise. So I have to protect my hair. My hair would not be triple processed. That is Zoltan Brazilian blow dried, um, dyed darker at the roots and then with occasional highlights through it. If I, I mean, it just wouldn't grow. It wouldn't be healthy if I didn't protect it some way. So I wanna go through some products that I think aren't sticky and will not weigh down fine hair, but also will leave you with your hair feeling like this, i.e no product in it at all and I think that's really important because I hate the feeling of product in my hair I'm not that person that would ever use a salt spray or anything like that I just oof. I think maybe it's because I touch my hair the whole time anyway so I want to start with the first thing that I always re rely on and it's my go-to and I go back to it time and time again Kerastase Resistance uh, Cement Thermique and it's a blow dry cream and this essentially is a leave-in conditioner you put a tiny amount in your hand I mean literally the size of um, a pound coin um, uh, in a little sort of dollop in your hand. You rub it between your hands and you just put it through the mid length and ends. The idea is you can put it on sort of towel dried hair, blow dry and protect your hair and then afterwards you can go in if you need a little bit extra just to separate the hair and make it seem a bit less fluffy and flyable, which is my kind of hair. And it has got a sort of protective and reparative action in it, which is why I really like it, but it feels like you've got nothing in your hair. I remember when it was launched many, many years ago, people talked about it being like a serum for your hair, like a sort of primer for your hair, and that's what it's like, and you don't want to feel sticky after using either a primer or a serum, and why would you want that on your hair either? Now, if you prefer a spray, I do like Redkin One United. Now, this is a it's got a I'm going up in the sense of it's got a little bit more hold in it here but it's it moisturizes it protects your color it's anti-frizz I mean it's just a, I mean it has got a little bit more of a sort of hold to it afterwards and I always think that's the case with sprays rather than creams but again you could brush it through afterwards and you wouldn't feel like you had anything in your hair I mean they come from the same company which is L'Oreal and, and I'm the third one also comes from L'Oreal that I'm going to talk about. But I do think that L'Oreal, because they are in so many salons and they develop so many professional ranges, it's why, for example, Garnier Hair Care and L'Oreal Paris Hair Care, their products are so good because essentially it's the similar technology. I don't want to say same technology that filters down. The other one is Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. This is a milk. So this is a cream. This is a milk. It's super lightweight. You just put a couple of squidges into your hands. And again, mid length and ends, blow dry your hair. It's the only way I'm being able, look, I'm trying desperately trying to grow this 
bloody fringe out. And I do punish this fringe because I've got terrible cow's legs. So I really pull it down and blow dry it. But I've been A, not having any peroxide or bleach or highlight in it for ages. Um, and it's getting still, still super fine on the ends from being blow dried and straightened. But the only way I'm getting this to grow down, because I want to, it to grow down to the length of here, so I can just blow dry it back into my hair. And then I can leave it alone and also put it back in ponytails and stuff like that. Because at the moment it sort of falls out when I put my hair back in a ponytail. The only way I can grow it out is with this and this. They are super hydrating. Now, the other one I want to mention at this time of year is Color Wow Dream Coat. Now, Color Wow Dream Coat, I think does give, it does give a feeling of having product in your hair. Now, here's why it's worth trying though. We have terrible humidity in the UK at the moment. You have terrible humidity when you go abroad, if you're by the sea. If your hair then prones to getting that slight sort of curl when it sort of starts beginning to you can almost feel it you go on holiday and your hair sort of does that <laughs> always sounds like it's going to make a noise and you can almost feel it start to spring away from your scalp and the heat with the heat and the humidity and the sweat this is the closest i've come to anything that will protect your hair in the heat and humidity it's seriously anti-frizz the downside is, I'm sorry, it does feel like you've got product in your hair. Not a huge amount, it's not heavy, it's not salt sprayish, it's not mousse-ish, but there is a payoff. These two, absolutely no feeling of product at all. This one is a sort of all-in-one brilliant first step to protect your hair from the heat. This one, brilliantly anti-humidity, but you do get a feeling that there's product in your hair. Whether you use my suggestions or not, please, please, please protect your hair when you blow dry it or straighten it. Because otherwise you are going to, in the end, not be able to grow your hair, get split ends, get sort of dry, frizzy ends. I mean, I know because two or three years ago, I thought I could get away with it and triple process my hair. And then I suddenly wondered why my hair got to a certain length and wouldn't grow. You know I had that disastrous haircut, which was, Mm, seven months ago now all my tapes are out completely so this is all my hair now and the only way that it's in this good condition is because yes I have the Brazilian blow dry treatment but it's because I use products that look after it it's a little bit like using a hyaluronic acid serum and an antioxidant serum and an SPF every single day you just protect your skin in the long term you might not see short-term results but in the long term your skin will thank you for it in the long term, trust me, your hair will thank you for it. Please use a heat protection spray. Um, if you've got any heat protection sprays that work on my kind of hair or any kind of hair that leaves it feeling like it's got nothing in it, which is the goal, I think, of any hair styling product, will you let me know? Will you share what you use below? Because I'm really keen to try things. Also, I'm very wary of the fact that these are all pretty much salon high-end products. So I'd be interested to see if you've tried any high street products and drugstore products that really work for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Next week, more holiday videos. I hope you don't get bored with them, but I think seeing as most of you are away on holiday at the moment, you won't mind me indulging and sharing my holiday adventures with you. Honestly, I made such a fool of myself paddleboard yogaring. Wait till you see it. It's shocking. See you soon.